All right, you guys, we're ready to go. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tupperware. Welcome to your new Tupperware business. What an exciting time this is. I remember the first time, um, well, I've only, I've only I, I haven't done Tupperware multiple times, but I remember um, getting my kit. And I remember being so excited about my kit. I also remember um, how to, uh, you know, the initial fear, um, the not knowing what to do, not knowing what to say. So, you know, I have, ex I have been exactly where you're at right now. And this call, um, this training is help just to help you kind of alleviate some of those fears, right? So <clears throat> one of the things I want to think, have you think about is what is it that you want to have happen? You know, think about what your dream is. Think about what it is that you want to use this Tupperware opportunity for. You know, for some, it might be just to pay down debt. It might be to save for college education. It might be to have a brand new car in your driveway. It might be just some, some girlfriend time, right? So what is it? What's your dream? What is your dream? If you could envision, do, give, have anything you wanted, what would that be? And I want you to kind of picture that in your mind. I want you to see yourself in your house with new carpet. I want to see you um, driving around in your new, you know, Volkswagen Beetle um, or maybe your Mercedes, right? Um, maybe I want to see you, maybe you want to see yourself have more time with your family, more quality time, maybe a vacation to Disney World. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? Or if you're not, if you don't have children or you want to leave them at home with grandma, maybe you, maybe you want to earn a trip to Hawaii or pay for a trip to Hawaii or go on a cruise to Alaska. What really is your dream? And then I want you to understand that your new Tupperware business is the bridge to that dream. You know, with all the wonderful things that we have available to you as a new Tupperware consultant, uh, there's, there's more than just the money and there's more than just the product. There's the opportunity for you to meet amazing people. There's an opportunity for you to build self-confidence in who you are. There's also a great opportunity for you to take the talents that you already have and, and maximize those in your Tupperware business. So if you like to cook, you're in the right business. If you like people, you're in the right business. If you like to be your own boss, hmm, you're kind of sort of in the right business. So you can take all the talents that you possess and we can help you polish them and design them to create for you a successful Tupperware business. So it kind of all starts with thinking big. And so one of the things that I want you to think about is what are the three to five things that you would like to get out of your Tupperware career? Is it that you want to make the extra money for something? Is it because you just love the product and you want to outfit your kitchen, your mother's kitchen, your daughter's kitchen? Um, maybe you just want an escape from your everyday life and, and participate and meet some amazing people. So what are the three to five things that you want most from your type of work career? And then the other thing is, how are you going to keep that in front of you? Because we always say this, keep your why close by. Okay. In other words, the reason why you're in this business, I want you to, how, how, how can you focus on that? What can you do to keep that as um, something in front of you all the time? Whether it be a picture on your refrigerator or whether it be a mantra, a sticky note on your rear view mirror, um, or, or whether it just be, you know, I always, I'm a big advocate of dry erase markers and bathroom mirrors. I always have them right all over my mirror, my bathroom, um, because I want to inspire myself because if I inspire myself to do great things, then I can inspire the world to do the same. So how are you going to keep your eye on the prize? And then keep in mind that, you know, the, the bridge to where it is that you want to go probably takes some money right? And when you think about the money that you can make in Tupperware, we have a very simple proven success formula in this business. It's called the one two, one success plan. And we have a one two, one success plan for every level of the business, for the consultant level, manager level, director level, and business leader level. That's where I'm at today. So one party a week, okay, is part of our one two, one success plan for consultants. So one party a week, and from that party, to date two future parties from that party, and then to identify one potential 
recruit from that the group of people that you're that you're talking with. And when you do this one to one success plan, what's going to happen is you're going to make some money. So for instance, just to kind of give you a snapshot of how this all adds up for every standard party that you do a standard party in Tupperware language is $500. So when you sell $500 worth of Tupperware products at a party, or on a Facebook party, or collecting them from a catalog party, um, you're gonna make $125. So we make 25% of everything we sell. So for every standard party that you do, you're gonna make about $125. Not too bad, right? So, but when you hold one standard party every single week, right? And realistically, there's gonna be parties that are lower than 500, and then you're gonna have parties that are way higher than 500. And the reason why we use a benchmark of 500 because by holding parties on a consistent basis, okay, you will average five to six hundred dollars every time you go to a party. So with a five hundred dollar standard party by holding one party a week, you're going to sell two thousand dollars in sales every single month. Now, looking at that from a confident start point of view, the confident start program, which is that big fold out poster that you have the opportunity to get in your in your Tupperware kit. I hope you I've, I hope that you have opened that up. I, have, I hope that you have marked down um, the prizes that you're going to win because there are some categories there where you have some choices. So um, category, uh, I think it's six. Are you going to take the pressure cooker, the micro pro grill, or are you going to take the stack cooker? What are you going to choose? Um, I think it's confident start level four. You have the opportunity of the mandolin or the modulate set. So what are you going to choose? Or the great master shredder. What are you going to choose? So mark those on there. Circle those on there. Keep it in front of you. But by selling $2,000 or one standard party every single week, selling $2,000 in a sales month, not only are you going to make the commission, right, which is $500, but Tupperware is going to give you a $100 bonus. So that's going to be a $600 additional income for you. How is that going to help make your dream come true? How is that going to pay off your debt? How's that going to save for a car? How's that going to take your family to on a vacation? Okay. How's it going to pay for a summer camp for the kids? Right. Okay. So let's just step that up. Just one more. Let's just do an additional party. Instead of doing one party a week, let's do two. And when you think about the amount of time that it takes for you to do a Tupperware party, you're, when you first get started, just to let you know, it might go a little longer than you think. Okay. And it's okay. The more you do your Tupperware parties, Believe it or not, the faster and more efficient you're going to be. So a standard party um, will take about mm, an hour and a half to do, right? Hour and a half from start to finish. That doesn't include travel time, but from start to finish, you're looking at about an hour and a half. So do you have six hours a week that you could put aside into a Tupperware business, right? Six hours a week into a Tupperware business, not only will you ena enable you to get the training that you need, but will also en uh, um, enable you to get, take the time to do two parties a week. So two standard parties every single week of $500, right? You're going to sell $1,000 a week or $4,000 for the month. Now that's going to give you $1,000 commission, but Tupperware is going to give you a $400 bonus because at that $4,000 level, you're going to get a $400 bonus. So it's two standard parties every single week, okay, is about $1,400 in commission. And as you're in your first 13 weeks of business, now you're really starting to play in the cookware game right? And the cookware is that final level, level seven in your confident start when you sell $7,500 in your first 13 weeks. So I just wanted to draw the parallel that whatever your dream is in Tupperware, whatever your dream is in your world, I'm sorry, Tupperware can help bridge that gap for you. Okay. So let's talk about how do we, how do we make this happen? Well, we have 30 days to make things happen. And what I want you to think about is every Every person, every time you start something new, if you start a diet or an exercise plan, maybe a budget plan, um, maybe even a household project, your first 30 days are so crucial because in those first 30 days, it kind of gets your mojo going, kind of gets your, your motivation going. So we want you to get your mojo, your motivation going, right? And that is in your first 30 days is to go watch a party. If you're out of the area and you're not able to watch your recruiter do a party or myself do a party or your manager do a party, we have some amazing training on our YouTube channel. There's also some really good training out there on the my.tupperware where they actually do parties. What we like to do at Starpoint Sales starting as of this year, once a month, we're going to do a mock party in my home or somebody else's home or maybe even the library where you can actually come and participate like a guest and you get to see a party from start to finish. 
The neat thing about that is we do have the opportunity to record those, okay? And then we go ahead and upload, upload those to our YouTube channel. All right, so you get to see those. If you hadn't, didn't get a chance to see January's mock party, we had a great mock party done by Rosalie, and it was the Orchard Salsa Party. And it was really fun, and we all got to participate. And I actually invited my neighbor, and she ordered $140 worth of Tupperware products. Go figure. So by going to a mock party, what I want to encourage you to do is bring a couple of your friends and neighbors along, right? And those sales would then be your sales that you can go ahead and put in. So attend your new consult success class. That's what you're doing today. We also have other um, recorded success classes that you can listen to that have a little bit different topic than what we're doing right now. So lots of available training to you. Attend some type of a Tupperware meeting or what we call rally. We have one coming up this Monday. It's our Taste of Tupperware Cooking with Confidence. We have our mock party the next week and then we have our fun night the next week. So Michelle, you had um, the opportunity to come with us um, to our fun night, which was a lot of fun. Um, so the other thing too is we also have the team meetings that you can participate in with your director. Then the other thing too is pull out your kit, get your kit out and start practicing some of those recipes that you're going to find in your getting started guide. Um, start working on your guests, on your list, right? Your Frank list is really your friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, and your kids' friends' parents, right? So how does your Frank look look? How does your Frank list look? I can't even talk, right? Now, if you don't have children, you have a Fran list, F-R-A-N, because you don't have K, right? Okay, so start baking that list. And we want to have that list constantly ongoing. Once you start one list, you don't stop there. You cross people off your list and you start add people to the bottom, okay? So ask yourself, where can I meet more people? Where can I meet more people? You can meet people in the grocery store. Did you know that? Okay, you can meet people in your neighborhood. Have you thought about taking your catalogs and knocking on some doors and say, hi, I'm, fill in your name. I would say Kelly. I'm Kelly and I'm, I'm the new Tupperware lady in town. I just wanted to introduce myself and give you a catalog, right? You got nothing to lose, right? Um, and you got a whole heck of a lot of stuff to gain. Make sure you have your my.tupperware account set up. Most of you probably already have that done. If you're having issues with that, there is um, uh, your recruiter can help you do that or reach out to myself and I can help you do that too. On our YouTube channel, there is um, a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to go ahead and set up your website too. Um, sign up for your Tupperware card. That's something you're going to find details in on page 23 of your Getting Started Guide. And of course, the most important one, and I think this should really be at the top, it should not be at the bottom, and that is to schedule your activation event. We want to help you be active so that you can take advantage of our, your activation offer. Now, those of you who got joined this month, okay, you got what we call your say yes offer, and you have until the last Friday of this month to qualify for your, for your activation offer. So your activation offer, I'm gonna see if I can bring this up here, um, for the month of February is this double vet and surf set. You get to get that for $50 when you have $500 in on your account between now and I do believe the 23rd of February, whatever that Friday is. So you wanna make sure that you take advantage, okay, of you have your say yes offer that you've taken advantage of already and now you have your activation offer. What these do is they add amazing products to your starter kit so that it starts to grow and you have more things to talk about. So let's talk about how you can enhance that in-home party experience. In my personal opinion, I've been in Tupperware for almost 32 years. I know, I don't look that old, do I? <laughs> 32 years. I started when I was 12, by the way. Um, we have great ways to help enhance that in-home party. The, the party, the in-home party, where you actually talk about the product, feel the product, pass around the product, in my personal opinion, after 32 years, is still the best way to sell Tupperware. It's not the only way, but it really is the best way. So think about um, how you can enhance that party experience. We have Facebook parties. We also have Tupper Connect parties where you can actually connect the party to an online shopping experience for their guests. So, and they click on a link and that takes them right to your website and to their Tupperware party. And then we have another thing called Party Plus. And that's kind of sort of what we're doing right now. We're using what we call the Zoom platform. Um, and you can actually have that on your uh, my.tupperware subscription where you can utilize this and do this at a party. So imagine for a minute that you're at a Tupperware party 
and there's four or five people who maybe live out of the state or who couldn't get away because they have a sick child. They can dial into their computer just like we're doing right now and they can watch you do the demo. Wouldn't that be fun? Right. Um, and there are some do's and don'ts about social media, that kind of stuff. And that's um, available on your my.tubware.com. So when in doubt, ask your manager or your recruiter or myself or refer to it on the my.tubware. So one of the things that's important is knowing what's kind of going on. So what we want to make sure that you're aware of is and ask your recruiter or again, reach your reach out to me. You want to know, make sure you know when your when your recruit date is and when your 13 weeks end. There is a place in your my.tepperware in your back office where you can actually click on track progress and it'll tell you where you're at in your 13 week confidence start. But we wanna make sure that you're aware that you, if you've put the $39 down on your kit and you don't wanna be charged the other $60 in the 60 days, um, you wanna make sure that you have your $1,000 in by that time period. So talk to your recruiter to make sure you know where your, your end and start and end dates are, because we don't want you to miss a goal, we certainly don't want you to miss a challenge, and we certainly don't want you to miss any free Tupperware that you're gonna be able to earn along the way. Okay. Um, as a company all over the area, we have people on the west side of the state. We have people over in Montana. We got people down in Arizona. We got people in Texas. We got somebody in Baltimore, Maryland that just joined our team. And so obviously, obviously some of these um, trainings are not going to be conducive because they're, um, they're live here in Spokane. We do a lot of Facebook live training during the event. So you can kind of click in. Um, but everything you're going to see that's in black is actually um, a Zoom or a, uh, a way for you to watch virtually or watch through your computer. So this is actually posted on a Facebook group. And again, because the call is recorded, you can come back and look at the screen if you need to. But it is posted right as actually, actually a pin post in our Facebook group. So I talked a little bit about Frank and what that can do for you. And what I really want you to do is don't just think about it, I want you to write it down. Inside, on, so, on your cell phone, if you don't think you know 100 people, I would challenge you to open up your contacts and start counting. I bet you know 100 people. I bet you have 300 contacts in your phone, right? Um, so who there is a friend, relative, acquaintance, neighbor, or kids' friend? Probably they all fall into some type of category, right? So do they know that you're selling Tupperware? Do they know that you're the new Tupperware connection? Do they know that Tupperware is beyond some of the best products they've ever seen? That Tupperware is not your grandmother's Tupperware or your, even your mother's Tupperware. It's the new Tupperware. Do they know about the new Tupperware? So make your list, okay? Make your list and check it twice. And one of the things I'd like to have you think about is when you're making your list, you can make it like this, but another way you can make your list is in three columns. So you'll have one column, two column, and three column. At the top of the first column, you're gonna put yes. On the top of the second column, you're gonna put no. And on the top of the third column, you're gonna put maybe. And as you start to write down your names, your friends and family, acquaintances, go ahead and put them in whatever category you think they're, they're gonna lie. Um, you have the yes, they're gonna have a party. No, they're not gonna have a party. Or I don't know, they might have a party. I don't know. So, and this is what happens. As we go through our phone or we go through our list and we think, okay, I'm gonna call these five people because I know they're gonna say yes. Well, I wanna tell you something. The people that you think are the most supportive may not be, and that's okay. Because there'll be other people out there that you least expect to have a Tupperware party to help your business get launched that say yes, right? So what I challenge you to do is call from a yes column, then call from the no column, and then call from the maybe column. Then go down, the fourth one is call from the yes, call from the no, call from the maybe. And what you're gonna discover is your yeses might say maybe, your nos might say yes, and your maybes are still undecided, right? So that's a really great strategy because what happens is when we call the people that we know are gonna say yes, and they don't say yes, we, get, we feel defeated, okay? And I don't want you to feel defeated. Remember, one of the reasons they're saying no is because maybe they don't understand what you're doing. And believe it or not, they're not saying no to you. They're not saying no to you. They're saying no to what you're asking them, okay? So take that personal element of no out of the equation. Don't take it personally. Just call somebody else. See, this is um, where we look at how to do your my.tap. You, you're all entitled to a basic free plan, period. Doesn't cost you a dime. The one that I prefer to use the most 
is the silver or the plus. If, you, if you're not gonna do the Zoom conferencing or the party plus, that's okay. Your plus is definitely the way to go because then you're gonna have a, a shopping website, a marketing website. So people will be able to go to your website to place an order. You'll be able to link it to your Tupperware parties so their guests can place an order through your, through your website. And um, it also gives you the opportunity to be listed on the Salesforce um, finder, if somebody goes in and looks for a Tupperware consultant and they happen to be your neighbor next door, um, you'll pop up, okay? But you have to have a paid my.tupperware.com website. Um, your first month is actually free. So you're going to put in your credit card information, but you're not going to get charged for 30 days. All right. So go ahead and take advantage of it. Okay. Uh, this actually gives you an opportunity to kind of make money when you sleep. Uh, and you're going to make the same amount of commission off of your online orders as you do your party orders. So you're still gonna make a 25% commission. Um, matter of fact, I just had somebody just last month when the module mates were all on sale, um, order two orders. She placed a $75 order and then another $150 order. I don't know, I have no idea why she did it in two orders. But it was over $200 worth of sales on my account, right? And the funny thing is, I don't even know who she is. I don't recognize the name. I'm like, okay, so she stumbled on my account probably because I put a post on Facebook or I put a post on my, my feed or I put a post on my page and her friends of a friends of a friend saw it, clicked on the link and shopped from online. But if I didn't have a my.tepware.com plus site, there would be no link. So I made over 50 bucks sleeping. Well, I don't know when she put the order in, but I made 50 bucks, right? And I don't even know who she is. So make sure that you... Think uh, seriously about moving forward and getting the 995, at least the 995 website. Um, the other thing that we have available to help you maximize your business and help you kind of streamline it is we have what we call the Tupperware card. Um, the Tupperware card is an EFT, electronic funds transfer card. It's only good with the Tupperware company, so you can't necessarily you know, take the check card any place. Um, now you can take the debit card and you can actually use that because it's like a preloaded visa. I suggest you get the check card because it's linked to a checking account. And so what happens when I process my orders, I use my Tupperware card, the money comes out of my checking account, but I get a point for every dollar that I use. So when I have collected 2000 points or had $2,000 worth of orders go through my account, okay, um, I'm gonna get points enough to buy a pack of catalogs and a pack of sales flyers and it's only gonna cost me shipping, which is 275. So that's an incentive to help, um, again, streamline your business, okay? And give you some rewards in the process. Why does Tupperware do this? I'll tell you why. Because if you use your Visa and MasterCard, okay? Tupperware gets charged a higher percentage, okay? Because they have an agreement with what we call the Electrum Corporation, who actually processes that, those orders, okay? your portion of your order that you go ahead and put in to pay for the rest of your sales, I mean, to pay for your, your Tupperware orders, um, they get a lesser percentage charge to them in the form of fees. So they roll that over and um, incentivize you to use the card. So they give you free stuff, right? So I, I like the Tupperware card. I've been using it forever. Um, it's my preferred method of paying for my Tupperware orders. So let's talk a little bit about getting no's we talked a little bit earlier about how no's don't hurt you, um, and they really don't. N-O stands for next opportunity. If they're saying no to a party, it's okay. Um, would they take a catalog in to work? Um, if they're not willing to do that, would they want to come to one of our cooking events that we have? Maybe they want to come to a party of your doing. Maybe they want to come to your activation event. Um, maybe they'd be willing to just pass your name on to somebody else. So a no does not mean absolutely not. It usually means I'm not interested in what you have to offer specifically. Tell me what else I can do to help you, okay? So I always start from the top of the pyramid. And the reason I start with the top of the pyramid because I'm always looking for people who are looking for a business opportunity. When you have your own home-based business, you are open to a whole new venue of tax deductions, by the way. And um, we're not gonna go into that here on the call, but just rest assured that as a home-based business person right now, because now you have your own home-based business, there are so many things that you can write off that you weren't able to write off prior, right? Which reduces your tax liability, which keeps more money in your pocket, right? So start with the recruiting opportunity first, and then ask them if they'll have a party, 
If they say no to that, ask them if they will take a catalog into work, maybe do a catalog party or even a Facebook party. Would they attend one of your parties as a guest? Would they come to your grand opening event or your activation event? Would they come to one of our events that we have hosting every single month at, our, at, this, at the hotel? Um, or would they just pass on your name? So a no doesn't have to be no. It could be next opportunity to have them um, do something else that you need to do. So let's talk about the party. Yeah, you're making your phone calls. You've got some parties in your book. And I want to challenge you to have three in-home parties this month, in the month of February. Not only will you activate your account, right? You will earn your kit and you'll earn the new host gift special that's pictured inside the catalog. Now, oh, do I have a catalog? Oh, I thought I had a catalog handy. But the host gift special is the beautiful, sheerly elegant host gift special that we have in the catalog. And you're able to earn that as a brand new consultant when you have $1,500 in personal sales during your first 13 weeks. So let's talk about the party. Three parties dated in your book by February. Got it? So you're going to set the date. Okay. You're going to give the host the recipe, um, maybe some ideas. You're going to give her your catalogs. You're going to have a party planning packet. And then you're going to make sure that you're in touch with her a couple of times between the time that you dated and of course, the time that she ha has her Tupperware party. Then when you get there, you've done the Tupperware party. Um, there's a, a wonderful party outline in your Getting Started book. So you can go ahead and tell what the timeline is. But people make the checks out to you. They give you the cash. They write their credit card um, on the order form. Okay, um, And then you go home and you put those um, items in the computer. You go to the bank and you deposit those monies right into your bank account. And then you send a thank you note to the host, okay? And then you let us know how, how you did. What, did you have any questions? Um, maybe go ahead and let us know who, you, who was at the party that you thought would be good to work with. That's somebody that maybe you'd like to bring into the business as your first recruit, okay? But it's really that easy, okay? Four steps, party planning, right? Four steps, doing the Tupperware party, and then four steps following the end of the party, okay? So, and then you start making money right away. <coughs> Pardon me. When you do um, do a Tupperware party, you do get paid instantly. Some people don't understand that concept because you're keeping the cash and the checks and you're depositing those into your bank account. Tupperware is only going to charge you for the wholesale of the product. They're only going to charge you the 75% cost. So that 25% that you've collected and put in your bank account is already in your account. It's all in your bank. So you get to keep that profit after you've paid Tupperware. What you pay Tupperware, you keep what's left over in your bank account. So it's kind of a cool little thing. Okay. Um, or entering your party orders, there is some tutorials. Um, however, your recruiter or your manager will be able to help you with your first order. Uh, there's a lot of people in our company who are pretty savvy when it comes to tech. And there are some great tutorials in there that you can just go step by step by step to put in a party. The other thing I suggest that you do is go ahead and put in a party fake, put in a fake party, put in a mock party and pretend you got a bunch of orders and calculate and put them in the, in the system. Just don't submit the party. <laughs> don't submit it unless you want them. But the neat thing about that is that will stay on the server forever until you delete it or until you submit it. All right. So you can go in and play around in the system all that you want, right? Go ahead and Susie Q and she ordered the cookware set. Woohoo. Okay. What's, what's that's going to look like? How did I calculate the tax? Is the tax that I calculated on hand? Is it the same that the computer calculated? Right. Those kind of things. Um, how do I order out the free Tupperware? You can play around with that screen and you can go through that. So it's okay to play around in your system. Just like I said, don't submit it. Okay. So how many of you want more? You want more? Because in this Tupperware business, I always say this, if you have a dream, you need a team. And a team could be of one, a team could be of many. We have a team of about 150, okay? And everybody on the team is different and they all bring wonderful talents. So who do you know that would love to do what you're doing? Who would love to make some extra money? Who do you know that has a dream, a dream like you? A dream to go travel, a dream for debt-free, a dream for a car in your driveway. Who's like you? Okay, invite them to join you in business. And I kind of wanted to give you a little income comparison of what, um, what other jobs out there, um, and I actually Googled these off, off the line, so they're actually national um, averages. So um, you may know a personal chef that makes more than $32,000 a year, um, but a lot of cooks in a restaurant you know, unless they own the restaurant, don't make $32,000 a year. We have administrative assistance, believe it or not, the national average is $36,000. We actually have a teacher salary, 
And um, again, these are just an average of 36,000. And then we have a hotel manager that makes 49,000. So let me show you how this, how a Tupperware business compares, okay? The first thing you're gonna notice is that on the left side, we got a 40 to 50 hour work week, okay? And if you've ever known anybody to be a teacher, they may only work the seven hours at school, but there's a lot of prep work at home. You know, they're, they're, they're shopping for school supplies. They're doing their lesson plan. They're doing all of that stuff. And that usually, um, they're working way more than 40 hours a week. If you've ever known anybody who is an administrative assistant, most of them are salary. And when they have to work overtime, they got to work overtime. You know, they can be there till nine, 10 o'clock at night, depending on what their boss needs. So then on the flip side, on your right side, you're going to see consultants working about, oh, 10 to 20 hours a week. A little different, right? But let, let's kind of show you how this works. This is a consultant holding two to three parties a week because it would be comparable to um, a, the full-time income, all right? So even three parties a week is going to be about 10 hours a week, So, it, which is less than a part-time job, which is 20 hours a week. If you worked your Tupperware business 20 hours a week, holy buckets, you're going to see the comparison here. So a Tupperware consultant will make anywhere from sixteen dollars to $25,000, just holding two to three parties a week, okay? Now a Tupperware manager or star manager um, actually makes more, right? Because they're getting what we call a royalty, profit plus, a Vanguard bonus off of their team. So a star manager, again, holding two to three parties a week, that's standard, and still working with a small group of people is going to make about $28,000, $29,000 a year, okay? Then executive manager is a little different. She's working with a little bit more people. She's working with a total of nine instead of three. And she's at he or she, we don't want to be gender specific, sorry about that. Um, they're also making an additional, what we call executive bonus of $150 every single month when they hit that level. So that's about $31,000 a year. How does that relate with the personal chef or the administrative assistant? Not too bad, right? Again, I'm only working 20 hours a week and they're working more. Okay. So now let's decide we want more. We want to maybe get that company car in the driveway, one that Tupperware pays for. Maybe you want that trip to Hawaii, not that I'm paying for, but that Tupperware is paying for, right? So you can do that by being what we call a Tupperware director. And we have openings right now in our company for Tupperware directors. It is about a three to four month, um, what should I say, focus to help you get to be a director. And then we support you moving forward to maintain that directorship and also promote directors within your team. So a Tupperware director, again, working about 25 to 35 hours a week, because you're working with more people, you're going to look at about anywhere from 35 to 40, $43,000 a year, but you're only working about 35 hours a week and you get a company car and you're going to get trips and you're going to get prizes. A three-star director, which is a director with three directors working with them is about almost $50,000 a year. Not too bad. What do you think? Not too bad, right? So you decide what your dream is. And like I said, Tupperware could be the bridge to help you get there. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of the money you can make in Tupperware. Um, and that's just one aspect of the business, right? There's more. Um, right now we have a trip for Hemingway that's eligible for every manager and every consultant in the company. And the neat thing about this is there's still time for you to do it just started. The promotion ends at the end of March. And if you're willing to hold 10 standard parties in the month of February and March, 10 standard parties in the month of February and March, and find three people, three people who will do four standard parties in February and March or sell $2,000 a piece, you are going to earn a trip. You are going to be flown away to Myrtle Beach. Okay, you're going to go tour our Tupperware factory and you can kind of see in the picture, this is, this is last year's Hemingway picture, but you see that big, huge building to the, to the left in the background, the Tupperware warehouse, the Tupperware factory is about 10 times bigger than a Costco. I'm going to say that again, 10 times bigger than a Costco. It's massive. And they give you a tour of the factory. We don't show you the whole thing. We show you where the products are made. But, um, and they're going to set you up at the Hilton Head, okay, um, on, in Myrtle Beach, okay, Hilton Head. It's a Marriott, by the way. And they're going to fly you there. They're going to feed you. They're going to room you. They're going to give you money to go shopping with. 
I'll tell you that. Okay, that's kind of cool. And it's going to be an amazing experience for you to take on. So would you like to earn a trip from Tupperware? I hope so. Okay. And if you're interested, again, reach out to me and we'll put down a strategy plan, but 10 standard parties for yourself, February, March, and three people willing to do four standard parties between now and the end of March. And you're on your way to Hemingway. Okay. So let's talk Tupperware. Let's talk Tupper lingo. You know, any kind of business you're going to have, what I should say, terminology, right? You're going to have terminology. And in your Getting Started Guys is some place where it talks about personal sales and sales aids and what a dating gift is, an active consultant. But one of the things I want to make sure you are super aware of is when our sales months start and when they end. <laughs> because we got to be different because we're Tupperware, right? So the easiest thing to do is go through your calendar. Um, and matter of fact, in your Tupperware date book, these dates are actually marked. Um, but they're marked with a color. And for me, I'm over at the age of 40. And it's hard for me to see details. <laughs> So I'm going to have big letters. I'm just saying. So I have a pen and I go through my date book and I circle the last Friday of every month. The last Friday of every month is the end of our sales month. So the beginning of the next sales month would obviously be the Saturday after, right? So if we go ahead and look at February and we look at the last Friday of February, we circle that and that's when our month ends. So that's when I want to have my $2,000 in. That's when I want to have my $4,000 in personal sales in. That's when I want to have my team minimums and maximums in so I get paid as a manager. So that's kind of what that, that little thing is. So our sales weeks go from Saturday to Friday. So anything that starts, starts on a Saturday morning. Anything that ends, ends on a Friday night. And things end midnight in your time zone. So we, again, we have somebody in Baltimore, Maryland. Her time is going to end three hours prior to our time over here in Washington State. So just kind of keep an eye on that. Um, midnight, your standard, your local time is when things end for you, all right? So I just wanna make sure you're aware of the Tupperware lingo, okay? To wrap things up, we're gonna talk a little bit about our Tupperware warranty. Tupperware is um, actually famous for our lifetime warranty. We're up there with Craftsman tools and Snap-on tools, because still there's not a lot of products out there that still carry a lifetime warranty, and, and Tupperware does. So now there are limitations to a Tupperware warranty. If somebody brings you a piece of Tupperware and the dog chewed it up, not covered under warranty. Somebody brings you a piece of product and it's been melted on top of the stove or inside the dishwasher, not warranted, okay? They bring you grandma's old bowl and there's a crack in it, it's warranted, okay? That bowl could be 55, 60 years old and they're gonna get a brand new one. That's an amazing warranty, okay? So when you're talking about your Tupperware products, do make sure that you talk about our limited lifetime warranty. Chipping, peeling, breaking, and cracking, okay? I'm gonna give you some pictures of what that looks like, but they are subject to shipping and handling charges, okay? So it's a free replacement, but they have to pay to get the product to them. Okay, and there are certain products that we have a 30 day warranty and a quality warranty on. Um, obviously, uh, our 30 day, our quality warranty would be under like our towels. We don't have a lifetime warranty on our towels, okay, um, but we have a lifetime warranty on all of our plastic bowls, right? Um, so, to kind of give you an idea of what is covered, okay, are things that are chipping. And so, you can, you, you know, when you bring somebody brings you in, like there's a chip out of the bowl, right? That's covered under warranty. Peeling is another one. Sometimes old, old Tupperware, especially colors that are in that dark brown, that cocoa brown, um, because of the pigments in the plastic, they have a tendency not to hold up as well as maybe some of the orange or lime green ones. Um, and those are back from the 70s. But sometimes you see a little bit of peeling. So that's covered under warranty. Um, warping is only covered under warranty if it's on a product manufactured after 1979. So as you're more familiar with the Tupperware products, um, you're going to see colors, right? Um, and you can, in most cases, if somebody brings me something that's orange or cocoa or that avocado green, that's the 70s. And if they bring me something warped, <clears throat> I'm going to know that that's item that was manufactured in the 70s, not covered under our warping warranty. Um, breaking, obviously, sometimes you'll have vent and serve or freezer containers come broken because they've taken them out of the freezer and accidentally dropped them. 
that happens. You know, we, life happens and they break. It's still covered under warranty. And then we have our quality warranty. And then of course our cracking and those kind of things. Now, this is what might happen when you first do a Tupperware party is, um, just to let you know, when you're brand new in Tupperware, you have this flashing neon sign on your forehead that you can't see. <laughs> and it says, let's see if I can sneak this by the new girl, right? Because maybe they've taken it to a party in the past and they've been told no, and now they're going to try to bring it to you. And they're going to try to say, hey, is this covered under warranty? <laughs> so these pictures are actually in your Getting Started book, okay? So I would throw that in your bag. Throw that in your, in your Tupperware bag and then bring it with you to the party. And if somebody says, hey, you know, isn't this covered under warranty? My kid just chewed the heck out of the zipper seal, right? Mm -mm. It says right here, cuts or chewing <laughs> by knives or, um, it says by knives or sharp objects, but chews, you know, like dog chews, not under warranty. Um, stains, mm, not under warranty. Microwave damage, not under warranty right? So anyways, take a look at that just to kind of get familiar with what is and what isn't under warranty. Um, that way, when you go to a Tupperware party, you're, you're, you're prepared. And here's a snapshot of some of your other resources. Um, other resources is, uh, first of all, we have an amazing, very active Facebook group. So if you're on Facebook, uh, we want to make sure that you're added to the group. Um, there's a lot of chatter on there, some really important things. Anytime we have an event coming up, um, like tonight's call, we're going to post, I, I, I try to do my best to post it the night before or the day before and of course the day of, along with the sign-in information. Um, when we have a special event, maybe when there's a special product on sale, we also use that as a platform for recognition, right? Because we want to shout out to our team members how awesome they are. And so we do some recognition there too. And sometimes you can ask a question. So if you can go on the Facebook group and let's say you have a question about maybe a, a replacement part, or maybe you have a question about how to place an order for something or how to get your keychains and those kind of things. You can post the question on our Facebook group and we have amazing people who are monitoring the Facebook group that know the answers. So if you can't find the answer yourself, you know, you have a hundred and so many people to ask the question to and you'll be able to get an answer. Don't forget you have your my.tepware.com website. That's absolutely amazing. And there's tons of information in your training tab. So when you log into your back office up to the very top, there's some other blue links. One of them says training. You can click on that and you want to do training for new consultants. Um, and there's a whole plethora of training for consultants, for new consultants, for managers, for directors. It's all listed right there. And so you can have that at your fingertips. Um, we have our TW star point um, dot com company website. Um, there's some videos on there. There's some recipes on there. There's pictures of our leadership team. Um, there's um, myself's and my husband's bio. So invite you to read that. Um, I didn't tell you a little bit about myself. I'm married. I have two grown children. They used to not be grown. <laughs> they used to be little. They grow up. I've been in Tupperware for 31 years and they are 22 and 24. So I was in Tupperware before I got married. I was in Tupperware before I had children. And it's been just an amazing, an amazing life. I invite you to participate in your Tupperware business the, as fully as you possibly can. Um, go to twstarpoint.com. Great websites to go. We also have a YouTube channel. We have our Tupperware Starpoint sales. So you can actually go in there under YouTube and you can do Tupperware Starpoint sales and you'll see our channel. We have a web a YouTube channel. Um, and then of course we also have Tupperware's YouTube channel and there's tons of product videos on there along with um, one of the things that I didn't put on here is, um, and I need to do that. I'll do that before, um, before I close out this PowerPoint tonight. It's blog.tupperware.com. Again, blog, B-L-O-G, dot tupperware.com and there's tons of recipes on there for your premium products like your power chef and your stack cooker and your pressure cooker and your micro pro grill so if you want to find some new recipes and it's a great place to send your customers to too right because they have access it's a public website and they can go look for those recipes for the products that they purchased from you at your tupperware party so i want to have you think about where can the party take you the party can take you wherever you want to go if you want to meet friends we got lots of friends. If you want to make money, we can help you do that. 
if you just love the Tupperware product and you want to get the best in your kitchen and the best for your family's kitchen, you know, Tupperware can do that too. So I just want to thank each and every one of you for taking the time to join us today. And um, I'm going to stop the recording. And so that is done. And then we'll continue forward.